So are you a little bit bored and fed up with the same WordPress dashboard, the dashboard that hasn't changed in forever? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you an incredibly simple method of changing the look to give you something just a little bit more modern and a little bit more bespoke. Great for you, your users, and for any clients you might be offloading to. So let's just take a look at how we can do all of that right now. Hi, I'm Paul C and welcome to WP Touch, where we create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon below to be notified every time new content is uploaded. Okay, so that boring dashboard that WordPress hasn't changed in God knows how long. How can we change it? Very, very easily, in fact. And I'm gonna show you how you can do that right now. So let's just jump over to WordPress and see what we need to change the look of the dashboard once and for all. So if you've been using WordPress for any amount of time, you'll know that this is the last time that we had any kind of updates to the dashboard of WordPress was back when we jumped from version 3 to version 4. And then it was not a massive update, more visual than anything else. Well, it kind of got a little bit stale. So in this video, I just want to show you how we can change it from something like this to just something a little fresher like this. As you can see, we've got a much nicer looking layout on the left hand side. If we jump into the post section, you'll see we've got a nice clean layout in there. So it all looks just a little bit fresher, a little bit more like that sort of material kind of layout. I'm also going to show you how we can tweak this design. For me, for example, I don't like the fact there's no separating line between each of these different entries on our posts. So I'm going to show you how we can customize the CSS of the admin alongside using this theme to change the way everything looks. So let's just take a look at how all of that is achieved. And the nice thing is, it's free and it's very, very easy. So let's take a look. So just jump back over now to my normal copy of WordPress, the normal dashboard. Now, if you're wondering where this welcome aboard sort of panel come from, I've already covered this, this own dedicated video where we've used WordPress and a free plugin that allow us to create our custom welcome panel. I'll link that in the description below and also pop it up in the corner now. So if you want to take a look at how to do that, you can add that into your dashboard as well. It's incredibly easy and pretty powerful and useful. Okay, so two things we need. We need a free theme for our dashboard. We also need to have a free plugin to allow us to customize the CSS as part of our dashboard. So what we need to do, even though we normally work with themes, we go to the appearance section, that only applies to themes of the front end. We need a theme for the actual dashboard. And to do that, we need to go through our plugin section. So what we're going to do is we're going to download that plugin first of all, upload it to our site, and we'll activate it. So to do that, we need to go to the WordPress.org repository. And in there, we need to do a search for the Slate admin theme. Once you've done that, simply download it, save it to your computer, and then once you've done that, jump back over into your dashboard, into WordPress, come down to your plugin section, and click on Add New. Once you've done that, you can just go through and upload your plugin, and then once you've done that, we can just activate it. Now, I've already uploaded it, so all I need to do now is go through and activate it. So I'm going to scroll through until I find the Slate plugin. There we go. I'll activate that, and once we activate it, that will now change the look. And as you can see, everything is now positioned how we want it to be. Okay, so we've now customized the look of the dashboard, so it looks pretty cool. But like I said, if we come into the post section and I come into there, you can see that I've got no separating entry or entry sort of like lines between each of these different sections. It kind of makes it just a little bit awkward and fiddly to see what you're doing. So we can deal with that with another free plugin. This time we're going to come back down to our plugin section. And what you need to do is just simply go through and search for a plugin called Admin CSS MU. So you do a little search for that, install that, and then activate it. And this just adds one simple little entry into our dashboard, which we can then start customizing things. So now if we come over onto our appearance section, you'll see we now have Admin CSS MU. Click on there, and we've got an incredibly simple interface. Two options and the area to insert our CSS. We can say load admin CS and minify the CSS. Now minifying it is just basically going to get rid of all the spaces and things in there, reduce the file size, which means that it won't have much of an impact, if anything at all, on your dashboard when it loads that extra CSS file in. So it's always good to say to minify it. Once we've done that, we now need to start putting the definitions in. But how do you know what to target when it comes to adjusting the CSS inside your dashboard? Well, this is where we can use our browser and we can use a simple function in there. Pretty much all modern browsers, if you press the F12 key, the function, the function keys on your keyboard, you'll switch and open up the developers panel, which is this area on the right hand side. Now I'm using Chrome, but I know that 
Microsoft Edge and Firefox and also, if I'm not mistaken, Safari all have the same kind of options like this. And the beauty of this is we can use it to find out different definitions or CSS sort of definitions which we want to target. Now, the other cool thing about this is that we can use it and we can test things out. So you can see this is sort of split into two columns. The left-hand side is all of the HTML that we've got that's making up the page that's currently open. On the right-hand side, currently, we're looking at the styles. So this is all the CSS styles that are inside our page. So let's just jump over into our posts so we can work on the actual page that I want. You can see that updates the code then for the HTML and also updates any styles that are associated with it. So what I can do is I can choose this very first option, click on there, then I can come over and you can see it starts to highlight all the different areas within the page as I mouse over. You'll also see things jumping around in this se uh, second column. And if we scroll through this, it does the sort of same thing in reverse. It'll highlight whatever we mouse over in the code. So we can use this to find the exact areas that we're looking for. You can see we can toggle things out so we can open this out for quick links, for example. We can expand that out and we can see we can break this down, all the various different components for the page that we're currently viewing. Or I can come over and I can highlight what I want once I've done that, I can click on it. You'll see that will now show me all the CSS in the full hierarchy. So in other words, it'll go from the sort of base element, for example, the body or the HTML tag, right the way through all the different things, and it'll show you all the styling that's been associated with it. Anything that's got a strike through basically means that it's been overridden by another definition further up the stacking order. Now, I know this probably sounds a little bit complicated, but the reality is it's not that complex. You just need to use it to pinpoint the thing that you want to change and style through the CSS admin plugin. Now, like I say, I'm going to keep this relatively simple. All I want to do is put an underline on each of these rows as part of the tables. Now, tables are used in certain parts of the dashboard for WordPress. So we're effectively going to apply this to every single table. So all I need to do is with this active, I'm going to open up another tab. I'm going to come to an appearance and I'm going to open up the admin CSS MU. And I'm going to put in the definition that I want to target. So I want to target the table rows. So we're going to do TR for table rows open our brackets, our curly braces, and then we're going to put in the definition we want, which is border, bottom, colon. I want it to be one pixel. I want it to be dotted. And I want it to be a specific gray color, which is D3, D3, D3. Ooh, too many. And then we'll finish that off with a semicolon. I'm going to go to the next line and just close our curly brackets out. So there's our, our CSS definition. So providing everything is right in there, if we hit save on that, once we've done that, we jump back over to our page, which shows all our posts, and we refresh this. And once we do that, you can now see we've got the separating line in between each of our entries. So we've gone in, we've pulled in a theme, and we can use this other plugin then to go through and customize things. If you use that in conjunction with the technique I showed you in the previous video, which like I say, I've linked in the description below, where we've gone in and set up this custom welcome screen, you really can come in and create a much more bespoke looking layout for your clients or for yourself. Now, if you wanted to take that even further, you could easily just get a white label plugin for WordPress, and then you could remove any reference to WordPress in the dashboard, which means then that when you hand it off to your client, you've got a very nice clean interface that doesn't look exactly the same as your typical WordPress dashboard, which really gives a nice looking end user experience. Well, that's pretty much it. There's nothing more I really need to show you. You can use the CSS plugin to customize the elements that you want, or if you don't want to do that, you can just use the Slate theme for your dashboard to give you a much nicer, cleaner, and a slightly more fresh, modern look. So there we go. That's pretty much what I wanted to show you in this video, how we can customize the dashboard of WordPress for no cost at all. Hopefully what you've seen is it's an easy way of changing things, give it a fresh facelift. If you did enjoy it, please give the video a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified every time new content is added. If you'd like to support what we do on the channel, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money for any of the plugins or themes that you purchase, but it does give a small percentage back to the channel to help support us. As always, if you can do comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else you'd like to see in future videos, pop those in the comment section below. I'd love to get a conversation started with you guys, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this video and the content we're putting out. As always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.